I'm so excited. I'm taking Bobby, Jules, Andrew, and the Bad Friends team to Universal Studios. It's gonna be so much fun. It's Halloween Horror Nights. So here is the deal. I just got a call from Bobby. He's not coming. Also, Jules is not coming, so I am not sure what what Andrew's gonna say. Uh, I'm a little scared to tell you the truth. I think he's gonna blame it on me for some reason. Um, but I'll, I'll keep you guys posted and see what we do. All right, so the moment of truth, meeting Andrew. Fancy! Hey, Andrew, how you doing? What up? I'm excited to be scared, dude. Let's do this. Halloween Horror Nights. Where's Bob? Um, so, this is the deal. Like, Bobby called me. He's at the airport and he's not coming. And Jules is not coming either. Or Pete, I think it's just the two of us. But we all said we were going to meet here on Friday night, dude. I, I know. I think maybe they, they got the, the dates. Uh, this is not cool, man. That is. So, I, 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 I mean, maybe I texted the wrong I knew he was going to do this. I knew he was going to bail. I don't want to do this because I'm, I'm like, I'm, I might actually get scared of some of this stuff. It's a little weird. I don't really like it. It freaks me out. So I'd rather be with a group. I mean, Whatever. It's just let's yeah, get some stuff. Can, look, if you look dumb, I can cut around it. And I, I, think, I think we'll be fine. Let's get a couple things with here. All right. I'm, I'm scared. I, I'm actually scared. I don't want to do it. Let's go back. Let's go back out. I want to go back to the car. I don't want to do it anymore. Ah! Ah! I don't like it. I want to go home. Oh, here you are. Come on, Andrew. We just done one. Do you want to do a couple more? No. I, I want to go home. I don't want to do this anymore. I, I got scared and I'm embarrassed and I want to go home. We'll cut it around. I think we've got great stuff. Uh, what if I get you a snack? Yeah? So, I got Andrew a churro. I think he's going to be happy. Uh, this is not the night I, I imagine, but you know, anything for you, bad friends. Let's see. Oh. Hey, Andrew. I have a churro for you. You got me a cinnamon penis. <laughs> exactly. Just how you like Thanks, it. Thanks, Nancy. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> hey! hey! So check this out. Uh, we want to promote a couple of things. I'm on the road, andrewsantino.com. I'm in San Francisco this weekend. I added shows in Philly and Seattle and Portland. I'm coming to Atlanta, Chicago, New York, Grand Rapids, uh, Pittsburgh, Columbus. I'm all over the place. We just added Florida. Uh, andrewsantino.com. Tell them to see me. Oh, go see him. He's one of the best in the world. andrewsantino.com. Also, Can I Bobby's got something. So um, October 22nd on Netflix, my show, I'm on an animated show called Inside Job with me, Lizzie Kaplan, Brett Gelman. Andrew Daly, a bunch of people. Awesome. And um, it's about a shadow government. And um, I play, I'm a, one of, I'm a regular on it. I'm mm -hmm. on every episode. Awesome. And I play the Chinese scientist. Oh. Yeah, but um, check it out. And also these shirts. These shirts are available are now. Are available. The Bad Friends, Chili Chill. Chili and, Chill and Mr. Hollywood, yeah, Mr. Hollywood are shirts. available right now. They should be in the merch bar below. Otherwise, go to badfriendsmerch.com. Badfriendsmerch.com. You two are bad friends. For these two. One, two, three, four, five o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven, 11 twelve, black, black, rock. No, 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 that's not the, it's. Bow, bow. It was a monster match. Oh, yeah, that one.
Da na 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 na. It was a graveyard smash. How does the music part go? Da na 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 na. How does it go? How does it go? Do you know what it is? It's a monster man. Ooh. Da, na, who are you? Who are you? Freddy Krueger. From them. what? From what movie? Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, great. Oh. Ooh. Robert England. Dude. And what are you? I'm Panda. Oh, from, Panda. From Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> <laughs> well, give us a little Kung Fu. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what are you doing, Fance? Yeah, what are you? Fancy is, uh, Fancy's walked into the room. He's, he's uh, Pedro. He's Pedro from uh, Napoleon Dynamite, the film that came out 30 years oh, ago. Oh, that's right. He's really keeping it up to date. What are you smoking? It's just a uh, vape. Give it to me. Still, is there drugs in it? No. Still out. Let's see. I like this. Look. Float, flum float gummy drop. Yep. Oh, it smells good. Yeah. Should I get into vapes? Oh, come on, man. Is this my thing Try now? It. I don't want to put my lips where your lips were. Why? I'm afraid of that. No, that's racist, dude. Do it. It has nothing to do with it. It has to do with race. If it was just like it was just here, if it was just enough, you'd fucking do it. He's cuter than you. But that has nothing to do with like being clean. If my lips turn yellow after this, uh, I'm gonna be. <laughs> All right, uh, you know what? I'll put my fingers in front of it. Watch this. Yeah, yeah. This will work. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this. Okay. Ew. Yeah. Oh, whoa. I feel it now. It's not marijuana. Oh, I know. I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a vape guy. Are you a vape guy? No. You don't look like a vape guy. Vapes are for losers. Oh, let's start from the beginning. Hey. hey. What's wrong? Why are you depressed? I'm a panda with it. I'm depressed. <laughs> <laughs> because I, 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 I haven't had bamboo in a couple of days. Oh, look, look, look. That's not... Oh, bamboo! Bamboo! <laughs> and also, um... Oh, look, a little bamboo for my little panda bear. Oh. And my mic just broke, Jesus. <laughs> What's wrong with my little panda bear? Is you a little sad panda? Yeah. Yeah, why are you a little sad panda? Because of my black eyes. Well, what do you have black eyes for? My husband beats me. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Your husband hits you? Yeah, like my husband my husband says, you know, I'm going to work, right? And I'm like, bye. And then like five days later he comes back and he's got like track marks on his arms. Your husband is a my heroin panda. addict? No, he's a panda. Your panda husband is a heroin addict? Yeah, and he and he um you can tell that he has a belly full of bamboo and doesn't bring me any, and then he punches my eyes and he goes, Panda's supposed to have black eyes and he punches my eyes. Oh no. Yeah. And then oh. he um comes on my white belly. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can't really see it's there then, can you? What? Because if it's mixed, it's white. Your it, belly's white. I know, but that's when I go to the police. I go, he came on my belly. Like, we can't get the fuck out of here, panda. You know oh, what I mean? No, the yeah, cops send you away? Well, they, apparently they say it's all for humans only. Oh, no. It's for humans only. So right? what a domestic violence panda supposed to do? We have to go see the bear, the black bear. What? Hey, always, a, always, always. Oh. oh, yeah. The sheriff. <laughs> Yeah, and he's like, you need help. Yeah, it's a grizzly bear. <laughs> is it Eric, Eric Griffin? Eric yes. Gri Ever, Eric grizzly bear? Grizzly, Griffly, Eric grizzly, grizzly bear, bear the bear. And you need help, dog. Oh, Bobby, you need help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm Barbara. Oh, Barbara, you need help? Yeah, my husband, he's been out shooting heroin with all the other bad pandas. and he... Another panda out there doing heroin again. Yeah, come, come all over my belly. I can't see any of it. It's mixed in with all that white fur. <laughs> I know. What a dilemma. Poor little panda. And I tell him to come on my arm so they can see the cum. Yeah, then you'd see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, What do you want me to do about it? Uh, anal? Bend over. <laughs> <laughs> and then you fuck me behind a tree? Yeah. Yeah. I like your panda. Do, what do I look like? Do you know what I am? You're an angry hippie. No, you know what I am? A communist. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're a communist. I'm a communist. I, yeah, I'm a commie, well, that was obvious. I'm a commie bastard. Yeah, and obvious. You're a communist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want everyone to have everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a commie. What are you? I'm Freggy. Freddy Krueger. He's Freddy Krueger. <laughs> you look like just like a girl that's on Melrose. It's just like a, a oh there oh, now there it's we a dead go. giveaway. Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger from the island of Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Yo, cap, my kambanga, some pergi kuga. Let me ask you something, Jules. If you were walking like that down the street with the fucking knives, but like in August, mm. like in Cebu, like you're just walking downtown Cebu, right? 
you think people would be like, would they would they turn their heads or they would just? I think they wouldn't mind. They wouldn't mind. Nobody would think twice about you with, yeah. wielding. What if those were real knives? Would anybody say anything? Maybe, but I don't think so. That's yeah, so, that's so wild. <laughs> it's people, wild. That's not even a thing. It's not. A, yeah, that's not a big. People are allowed to just be chaotic down there because people have so many other problems going on. Yeah, that's yeah. the last thing on their mind. Yeah, I love going to see like homeless people in like countries like that. Why? <laughs> I love visiting them. Do you know why? Why? They always have the best genes. Homeless people? Yeah, because it's like- they're, Ooh, they're worn in enough? Yeah, they they wear it in in the way where it's like, oh, that's a cool, you know what I mean? Like vomit and, you know, poo. Poo, a lot of poo. Right, and like- Piss. Pure, beer, pure mud, blood. beer. It's all stained. I'd like to buy them from them. <laughs> How much would you pay for that? Probably those? like a couple hundred bucks. Seriously? Yeah, there's some some of them are dope, man. What if we start a raw denim company where you and I go get raw denim? Yeah. And then we give it to homeless people to wear for like a week and then we pay them to give it back to us and then we sell it to rich people. Well they do they already them. do that. It's so APC, you have heard of APC? They don't do that. APC used to ask Kevin Christie. APC used to give people jeans, you wait them wear them for a year, you they buy them back from you. Yeah, no, I'm talking about give them to a homeless guy to, to poop in them and, and have rip holes and do heroin and stuff. Right. But wait a minute. They would get, they would pay you to wear them and give them back? Yeah. So but you they give them for you a year? They give you raw denim. They give you raw denim. Mm. You go you live, live, live in them for a year. And don't wash. Them back, don't wash. Never wash. Bring them back. And then they go, here's some money. Or How often do you wash your jeans? Never. You've never washed a pair of jeans? No. Have you ever washed a pair of jeans? I always wash them when I wear them after. So every time you wear a pair of jeans, you wash them. Yeah, that's wrong. You're that's not supposed, wrong. To, You're do not supposed to do that. How often do you wash your hair? Every day. Yeah, not supposed to do that yeah, either. Yeah. <laughs> she takes your uh, showers. I should charge you. <laughs> How much do you think it costs for her? Like each shower I, she I takes. I swear, and this is not even an exaggeration. Mm -hmm. I've I've clocked her at an hour. <laughs> Have you seriously taken an hour shower? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so at like thirty minutes. You're like. It's fine. Is that she's well, dirty? Is You're, that because she's making up for all those years of not having water, running water in Cebu? Is that what it is? Maybe because there's no hot water in. Cebu. Oh no, oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. Let two her hours, take two hours. Two hours. You know, <laughs> hey, look up. How much does it cost for like per gallon uh, to run your shower? In yeah, Los how much is it for an hour shower? What do you think it is? Hour shower probably five in, bucks. Uh, I was going to say 10, but I feel like five is better. Assuming that the rates of electricity and water in your area are national average, 12 cents per kilowatt hour and $1.50 kilowatt US gallons. each. So for every gallon, it's $1.50. Each shower costs you 25 cents or 51 cents per day for the whole household. Whoa, that's nothing. So how much is it? So so average, I would say that it says it costs you 25 to 51 cents per household. Yeah. Per shower. Yeah. Each, sh but, but she's taking what would be a, a five, how five, much? five, four or five showers. Four or five, four or five showers. So every day you're probably costing two dollars or three. Oh yeah, fuck it. <laughs> shower, fuck it. You know five what? Five hours. I think I got some money in here. Hey, yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a shower. There's a shower. Give that to Bob if he ever comes. Whoa, good catch, rude. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that's pretty impressive. I didn't know. I thought that was way more expensive for some reason. Why did my parents yell at me all the time for taking long showers? I don't know, but why don't you go to the Korean spa with me ever? I've asked you so many times. Oh, really? Do you have time to go to Korean spa between going to do Sex in the City and then going to do Magnum P.I. and then doing the show? Tell me when you have time. No, but before I have, when Tell I didn't have the have time. Tell me when you have time. When I didn't have the time. When I didn't have the time, You've I never had you. time. You've never had time. I've always had time. When I've... Uh, panda I asked you to, Panda shouldn't be angry Panda should not be angry I'm sad panda And I'm the communist Yeah yeah <laughs> Remember I asked you to go trick or treating this year And you said absolutely not What, what do panda sound like? Okay that's your thing? Yeah Let me see if I can guess You just repeated what I did <laughs> <laughs> that's the same thing. That's true. Let me see. That's true. That's exactly <laughs> what I did. <laughs> that's true. Uh, my bad. My bad. My bad. Do yours again. <laughs> Good, Rudy. I just think of them as like that's not what they, they don't speak, speak English. They don't speak no, English. I'm, I'm explaining because it's just gonna be one sound like huh. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You could have just done it. You don't have to yeah, explain yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look up what pandas sound like, Pete. So, I got to tell you. Yeah. Yours, that second one you did, yeah. the gunner roll yeah. one, that was, in my mind, sounded like what I think they do sound like. Yeah, yeah. Here. Because a sloth sounds like this. Yeah. Let's hear what pandas sound like. And by the way, huh? Obviously not. Not, not. not even a good effort. Yeah. What a minimal. It's an Archie oh. Bunker. All right, let's hear. <laughs> oh, to the moon. Do you find them though? People go, oh, pandas are the cutest bear. I don't find them the cutest though. Uh, you know what's so funny? I I do think they're very cute. Yeah. But also sometimes I think things that aren't cute are cute. Like I think squirrels are cute as shit. Oh, I love them. I think they are cute. They're 100% cute. What about raccoons? Cute as fuck, man. See, I agree. Yeah. What about? But, what, and, and, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you why we think they, some people think they're ugly. Huh. It's they base it on their behavior. And you know what? What? Because of who we are, yeah. we don't judge on the behavior. We don't judge on behavior. We judge on looks alone. On how cute you are. Cute, right. Yeah. You're you're in a like, garbage dump for fucking with your family eating fucking garbage food. Yeah. And stealing is one thing. Fine. Right? But when you pop your head out of that fucking thing. <laughs> yep. And you look at me with those little cute faces. What am I going to do? Nothing. Yeah. yeah. I love you. I love you so much. I, you're right. We judge by the behavior. Yeah. Although, I don't want to judge by behavior. Although, although I will say. But squirrels don't have bad behavior. Uh, no. Yeah. I don't think so. What about pigeons? Pigeons. I don't th find them cute, though. Uh, sometimes. But sometimes okay. this is cute. That is cute. Some like, Just head bobbing is cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is true. I never thought of it that way. Why is that? Do, but, you, because do a bird bob. Yeah. Look at how cute that is. Yeah. It's, but to me, you know what I mean? I think you're looking at the bob. And you're putting sexuality to it. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're imagining, <laughs> right, a dev just on your shit right there, <coughs> right? And they don't really, those muscles that they're using, uh -huh. it's like when a girl is going down on you, right? They're not necessarily muscles they generally use. Right. So they get sore after a while. Oh. After about a minute. They, what, they, if, what if pigeons, the reason they're walking around like that is yeah. they're practicing sucking dick. Just Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> And then, like, the guy pigeons are in the trees. Yeah. Yeah. Practice. Practice. Yeah. Two months. <laughs> January 12th, I'll meet you on this tree stump. Get tree back stump? here when you can. Yeah, when you can. Also, by the way, I learned the other day, we were. I was in Boston Common. Boston Common in the park. Yeah. Love going sitting in the park. I, was, I, I saw the photos. And I was looking at the squirrels. Yeah. Do you know how an, you know what the average life of a squirrel is? Let me guess. Yeah. A year and a half? That's what I thought. What do you think? How long do you think an average year? I also thought one year. That's what I said? How much? Eight to 10 years. Well, that's a good one. How do they? I, I, that it's doesn't great, make sense. It's a great one. How about the average? How about a bird? You know what a bird? We looked it up too. What's the average span of a common bird, which encompasses a lot of birds? Average lifespan. Six of a, years. What do you say, Rude? Two to three. Two to three. Two to three is exactly correct. That's the average lifespan. A bird, two wow. couple of years. Wow. Couple of years. And let me ask you this. Yeah. You, you you got all the birds in the sky. Yeah. Sometimes I'll wa I'll be trolling down or frolicking. Frolicking mostly, I like yeah. frolicking through, you know, gardens or pastures. Yeah, mostly. That's my thing. You're very big into pastures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've never seen me. I wear my overalls, right? And I always put my <laughs> head in the pigtails, right? Mm -hmm. I put little freckles on my face with the, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and I have a basket. You always have a basket. Yeah, yeah. And I frolic. Are you wearing a little tiny skirt? Oh yeah, in a pasture, mm -hmm. right? And can I see and your, a skip, right? And I see your little whoop hanging out underneath, right? And I sing white music like zippity doo doo da, zippity day. Jeremiah had a bullfrog. You know all the white <laughs> classics. What are the other white classics? Oh, right, right. Um, <laughs> happy birthday to you. That's everyone. What else? Uh, um, take it easy, eagles. Take it easy, right? And what I'm else? frolicking, right? <laughs> what? what? What else? Uh, uh, um, go, go back, go back to your country. That's right, a white, right, right, right. That's, that's a, a white one. song. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's another white song? Um, uh, uh, build the wall, build the wall. Uh, can I just finish my pasture, please? So I'm. I feel like to frolic, and I. But when I frolic, I look at the birds, right? Yeah. And I count them, and I don't know the varieties. You know what I mean? Of birds, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There's a woodpecker. There's an owl, right? Right. There's an owl, ooh, 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 right? Ooh. And um, sparrow, beautiful. What Do a beautiful creature. Dove, beautiful creature. Quail. Are you just rattling off all the birds you know? Pheasant. Okay, good. Hummingbird. 
<laughs> Bluebird. Yeah. Bald eagle. Blue jay. Okay. Um, chicken. Cardinal. Rooster. Uh, two of those things can't fly. You just named two things that can't fly. But they're still birds, right? You got it. Oh, well, then I thought, that's where, I thought that, oh, that was the okay. game we were fucking playing. Swan. Swan? Mm -hmm. Duck. Uh, <laughs> very good. Why? Well, I'm just taking duck from me because that was my next one for sure. <laughs> I know. And I stumped Because I went I? to ponds. I know, I, know, I know. As soon as I got into ponds. <laughs> I know. And, and I stumped you, right? I think you got me at duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're done? <laughs> Fuck a duck. Fuck a duck. You got me. So can I finish the frolicking? 100%. Right. I count them all, right? Sometimes it's like... Macau. <laughs> Fuck, man. Come fruit on. bat. Parrot. Is fruit bat a bat bird? It's a bat. It's a bat. <laughs> Different. <laughs> oh, my bad. Parrot. Parrot? Bird of paradise. Parakeet. That's great. That's a good one. I'm a parrot to parakeet. <laughs> That's a really good one. You got to have one more, otherwise I, I, I win. I, I, I know, but you took a long time after duck. <laughs> Did you not? I admitted I failed. I know, but you... Well, know. you're stalling right now. Hawk. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hawk. Let's go. Let's finish frolicking. <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right. I count all the birds. Let me just get to the point, right? Please. There's thousands of birds, right? But they, so you're saying they die after two or three years? Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl's not a fucking bird. They were a bird. They were a bird We of don't prey. even know if they existed. Oh, are you a flat earther? That's true. They of existed. Of course they existed. All right, they existed. All right, so you're frolicking through the field. Yeah. Did I do hummingbird? You did. That was your first one. Uh, oh, that was my first one? Yeah, you can't go it's back. It's my favorite one, though. It's, uh, in fact, when you do twice, it's done. Any bird, oh, the game's done? Any birds to throw in? Yeah, yeah. Raven. Raven! Raven! Very I got one. good. Huh? Vulture. Vulture. <laughs> you? Um, Condor. Condor is a good one. Condor. Condor is a good one, dude. Come on. Blue Jay? I already said Blue Jay. Fuck! Yep. You did. Yep, you're running out. I remember out. Blue. You're running out. I'm not running out. You're running I'm out. I'm running in. You're running out. I'm running in. Don't, uh, don't say running out because it fucks with my mind. Uh-oh, we're closing the door. No, there's no... <laughs> oh, no. Badoom. All right. All right, you're in the field. So, um, and you're saying they die every two or three years. Two to three years is the average lifespan right. of most birds. So you're talking about thousands of birds are dying at one time. Where in one, are Where they? are the bodies? Have you thought of that? Now? That's exactly what I thought of when I when I read two to three years. I thought, where do they go? Yeah, because I in my life, right? I've walked around. Bob, where do they fucking? go? I'm asking you. I'm telling you that I walk around. Yeah. And probably ten times in my life, I've said, "Oh, there's a poor dead bird on the street." Or in a forest or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. But you're talking about thousands of days, uh, uh, birds dying. Where are the bodies? I see dead birds more rarely than I see roadkill. Blue Chew. I'm going to say something, Andrew. You should. At, at 50, you know, I need Blue Chew. Ooh. It's, yeah. It's hard right now. It doesn't go down. It's hard to get hard. Or up. It just, but it with stays With Blue Chew, dude, it goes up <laughs> and it stays up. And I feel like I'm a 18 year old soldier again. Man. When you told me, you said blue. I said blue chew is going to be a sponsor for us, and you said give me some now. And I, we sent you a I box. That. Yeah, Are you yeah. using it? Yeah, it's good. It's my favorite. Blue chew is incredible. Hey, we could all use a little stiff breeze, a little uh, strengthening, a little blood pumping down. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. That's right. Take them a day. Or the best night, part. Anytime. It's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy, man. Go to BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you're going to receive your prescription to your front door in a discreet box in days. Uh -huh. So you can get your pepper hard for whomever needs it. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. We got a special deal for our listeners to try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code BADFRIENDS at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code BADFRIENDS to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Butcher Box. I'm uh a meat eater. I love the meat. And I'm a big beefy boy and I love beef. And I beefed up over over COVID because of Butcher Box. I gained 16 pounds. I'm not going to lie. And but if I'm you happy. ask Jules, right, our freezers at home, we have many freezers mm -hmm. filled with Butcher Box meat. And is we have glorious dinner. It's delicious. It's Look, delicious. when it comes to meat, quality matters. Everyone knows you're not going to go get meat from the dollar store. And when you invest in high quality meat from Butcher Box, the benefits go way beyond great tasting meals. They're source, they source their meat 
Uh, ButcherBox sources their meat from partners with the highest standards of quality. No more searching the grocery store. 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, wild-caught seafood, and more. Yeah. How do you prepare the meat? What do you do? Like when you get a piece of beef. I like to get it medium rare. Ooh, me too. That's what you, I like. Do you like medium I rare? I sear it. I sear it, the sides, both sides. And I put some butter, and I, and I, and I flip it. it in the pan. I always like to poke it. Oh, you pop, 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 Yeah, I poke it. Well, so the se- the, it can seep in there. Yeah. Uh, my favorite thing about ButcherBox is that I get meat to the front door, and I don't have to go grocery shopping There's no I'm lazy. anti biotics added or hormones nope each box contains eight to 14 pounds of meat depending on your box type that's enough for 24 meals it's packed fresh and shipped frozen for your convenience so you can save time on your next grocery store trip look butcher box is wonderful if you like that meat you're gonna get it here butcher box is now off no right now butcher box is offering new members a 10 to 16 pound turkey oh. free in their first box. Just Scott. go to butcherbox.com slash badfriends to sign up. That's butcherbox.com slash badfriends to receive a free turkey in your first box. We, we did it. We look. We looked at some of the variables, and the it just variables, turns right. out. We, I mean, I bet you money if you, me, Fauci, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. The Fauci. And some other scientists, mm-hmm. right? He's a doctor. We need a scientist. Who's a uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Uh, me, right? you, and Neil deGrasse Tyson. And we check a couple of boxes with him. Uh, what? What is his? He's black. He is? <laughs> <laughs> right? So it's like, we're checking boxes. We're checking boxes. And also exactly. building a scientific a community. Community. With one guy. So listen, Vietnamese fans. Yeah, yeah. We Don't be offended. Ch- no, of course yeah. not. And we're also not accusing you of anything. We're it just be, saying. Yeah, it could be them. I don't know. I don't think so, though. I don't know about well, that. Because, yeah. They, they might. See, they, go ahead. They, well, they, I was going to say, they might be the reason that in my neighborhood, there's always signs that say coyotes are out there eating dogs. Mm. I've never seen a coyote take one, but dogs go missing a lot. Dude, that is such an interesting fucking theory, dude. <laughs> dogs go You're missing a lot. You're absolutely right, a lot, right? And I've never seen a coyote eat a dog. Uh, and I've heard, let me, I heard they do. Can I just say this too? Uh-huh. And this is this is probably just I'm you know I'm, I, this is probably a stretch, right? But one time, stretch it. Right, I'm stretching it. One time when I, we first moved into our house, right? I heard the coy- coyotes, right? Because you know the. The real estate guy said, there's a lot of coyotes here, so we got the fence for our dogs. So three in the morning, I was out there with the dogs, Jules, right? And I hear, you know, the coyote, right? I heard them. Is that it? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Whatever. They howl at the moon. Yeah, but they kind of chatter. They, they do that noise, right? Yeah, yeah something like that. There exactly. You That's dead on. Right, right. Right. And I looked, and it was three Filipinos. <laughs> And now I'm not, I'm not, listen, I'm not saying anything, right? I, right? But they were naked? Oh, they were? (laughs) Naked. Making noises, right? (laughs) Right, making the noises. They had fucking spears. Oh, no. And they were hunting for something. Now, did you ask them what they were hunting for? I go, hey, get out of here. I mean, what do you, get out of here. They're on your property. And they, here's what's fucking crazy about this, right? (laughs) They seemed to not understand what I was saying. Bullshit. Right. So they were like, I go, get out of here. And they're like, right. They spoke that. They spoke co- coyote. The coyote right. So I feel like they're like people that were like raised in the woods. Raised by coyotes. Coyotes. Right. Can you prove to me you can't speak coyote right now? <laughs> I can't. Prove. Prove. How? Yeah. Let me hear a coyote and let me see if it sounds real. It's not. It's... Well, oh, see, that's what somebody would say if that no coyote. Okay, I'll. <laughs> Bro, that's exactly what. Was that what it sounded like? Bro, when you were trying to do the coyote, right? I go, that's not exactly right. But right. when she did it organically. Do it again, and I'm going to look away from yeah, you. Yeah. Do it again, real Jules. <laughs> go, get inside! <laughs> see, I, my, 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 your instinct, instinct. <laughs> my instinct is to get the dogs inside the house, dude. Like, get inside! <laughs> right, they're here. Right? Oh fuck! I thought you said I was a bat. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. To be fair, to be fair, you to, one could be two, two, one could be both. You're allowed to be both things. Yeah. And yes, you are a bat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> one could be both. Freddie Bat. Right. By the way, uh, our our whole bad friends team dressed up. Uh, of course, uh, Andres is the. Ever present, very topical character of Pedro right. from Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, and Pete is. What are you, Pete? I'm Napoleon, and mm. he's Napoleon. Yeah, 
because Bad Friends I didn't think is Nap- on a budget. <laughs> on a budget, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know that Napoleon what, was a fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Bob. I'm sorry. I'm well, sorry, all right? Well, say it to him. I, not I mean, I'm sorry, Pete, right? But when you see me in this panda outfit, I'm shaped like a panda. Uh, yeah, that make it makes sense. Right? You look right now, dude. Um, I literally thought I was in fucking Woodstock right now. <laughs> Every time I look at you, yeah, dude. It's like, did I just time travel? Right? What do hippies do? What are my hands doing? What? Do That's exactly do? what you because there's trails, dude. Yeah. You're creating. <laughs> you're creating trails. You're high as fuck. Yeah, dude. You're sucking fucking <laughs> unicorn cock. No, no, I'm playing a recorder. Oh, you're, oh I'm sorry, playing just a little oh, recorder. Sorry. What is it? I, 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 I thought you were doing unicorn cock. What do you imagine a unicorn cock looks like? Not like a normal cock. Why just like a d- bunch of colors? Yeah, but it, it can't be shaped like a normal cock. There's no. I mean, I get that the color it's candy striped. <laughs> I feel like a unicorn cock is not even a solid thing. That it's a ray of light. Whoa! W- right, you're w- touching on some good shit. <laughs> I know. I know. So it's like. So it's a it's a heavy beam. Let's of imagine. Light. Let's imagine, right? Mm-hmm. That I'm um a wood elf. I see it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I see it. You see it, right? I see it. I'm a wood elf, right? Uh huh. And I was fucking just all day. <gasps> what am I killing? Orcs. <gasps> orcs. I'm killing goblins and orcs <laughs> and cave troll. <laughs> fling, fling, right? Yeah. I'm exhausted, right? I'm tired. I go to the Shire, right? <laughs> right. I, 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 I pull back a couple pints. Oh, you're gl- 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 a beer, right? Right. I'm a little tipsy, right? Hey, Frodo. You know what I mean? Good to see you. Ah, yeah, that was funny. That joke. Ah, right? Talking shit to Frodo. Talking shit, right? I'm walking out of the fucking bar, right? Mm-hmm. And they're like, you're going home? What else? That's what they call me. Woody. I don't have a name. Woody. Woody. That's a name. Woody, you going to home? I got, I'm going home. I'm not. Where are you going? I'm going out to get some fucking unicorn cock. <laughs> oh, you Combust, are. Right? Is it, are, they, are they like prostitutes? Are unicorns prostitutes? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Right? But they, they're not gay. What are they? They're I, not anything. They're not anything, but right. I'm pretty sure they're not gay. Okay. Oh, they could be. I don't know. But you go out to the woods to go get them. I and, don't get them. Well, you They go come out- to me. I do the little... Because Gandalf taught me how to do the whistle. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, that dude from the fucking movie. <laughs> from the movie, dude. So you whistle. Right. They come get... Comes they- out. Was, was was Gandalf's name was Shadowmir or uh, Shadowfax or... Uh, Something like that. That was his horse's name, Shadowfax. Yeah, Shadowfax. Shadowfax. Right. So, but it's not Shadowfax. It's a fucking unicorn. Right. And fucking. You know what I mean? He, I'm gonna get. He's when he's hopping. He's got big wings. He's also going. No, he's not. He's. This is his hooves. Oh. Okay. Right. He's. I'm about to get my dick sucked. Right. He, that's what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, you're right. He. He's running faster. You know what I mean? Like he would run fast if Orc were chasing him. Yeah. But he runs doubly fast when he knows that this Woody is gonna suck his dick. Because he's excited because you're good. I'm probably pretty good. You're probably one of the he's best. He's a drunk, too. He's not going to remember nothing. I'm going to do it on his face. <laughs> oh, whatever, right? And he comes out, and I get on my knees, uh-huh. right? Yeah. And he does what a dog does. What, that, what do you mean? He, when he's peeing. The rocket comes out? No, he just lifts one leg like this. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, li- yeah he lifts one he leg like this. He doesn't even really acknowledge you. He, he just doesn't, li- yeah. lifts up his leg. What? Well, yeah. Does he's he look, also not- Is he looking down at you at all? He's also- You know what he's doing? Yeah. He's looking at a female unicorn oh, from across right. the way because he's not even like he doesn't like cross species, so to get hard or whatever, he's got to look at. He's got to look at a, a female unicorn. That makes sense. So when he does this, he's looking at what, is it Felicia? You know what I mean? <laughs> Felicia, just do you right? Spin and a, a beam of light enters my mouth. <laughs> and it's like and it's like you know what it's like? No. Like those fucking in Ghostbusters, those fucking oh yeah, the 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 the, 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 the guns, stream. the streams, gun. right? And and, and and it makes my mouth go. Oh. <laughs> it's pulling right, right, <laughs> right, right, and he unloads, right? Yeah, and it's just like I ate ninety three thousand mush marshmallows, <laughs> <laughs> right? He he it gallops should... away, and I'm it's coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, like that. Everywhere. That goes into your mouth. That goes in my mouth. And how do you feel when it's over? <sighs> well, I'm gonna. I assume I'm gonna black out drunk. I wake up in the field, right? With right? marshmallows everywhere. Yeah, and um, you know how you wake up, right? And you're like, um, you know, you just do that because your mouth is dry. Mm-hmm. But this time, I'm like, oh, because it's fucking <laughs> you, right? I vomit, right? More and like rainbow colored like marshmallows <laughs> <laughs> land on the ground. 
And I just go, I got to go to I'm never, AA. I'm never doing that. <laughs> yeah, again. yeah. Because every time I get, dr- and then you're in sober three years, you're in a meeting, right? You're sharing, you know? And a unicorn. It got so comes bad. In. Wait, wait, yeah, that's what. <laughs> so it, it, it got so bad for me, man. I used to go to the shower, get drunk, right? I used to blow, I used to blow unicorns, right? And in the audience, you hear, <laughs> right? He's sober now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't do it anymore. He doesn't do it anymore either. But, yeah. He comes at, up to you while you're having coffee at the, after the meeting, during the break, during and the break, having right, a cigarette. Right. And, and he's like, you ever thought about doing it again? <laughs> <laughs> Just to tempt you. <laughs> <laughs> right, and I looked down yeah. at his crotch. Right, yeah. Not that a laser comes out, right? No, but a little bit of a, like a, a little a glow, a little glow, like <laughs> <laughs> to remind you, right? And I start salivating, right? <laughs> and I, I relapse that night. I relapse that night. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Poor Woody. It's a sad w- tale. It's a sad tale, it's a but sad it's a true t- tale. It's a true tale. Did you t- did you find out what a panda sounds like? By the way, <laughs> after twenty minutes of this chaos. Oh, here we go. Let's hear what they sound like. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. We were close. We're clear. Let's hear. So cute. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like Andreas's car starting when he leaves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, fucking so cute. cute. Are they deadly? They, I think they can kill. I think they can kill humans. Yeah, but uh, can you, like if I was in China, mm-hmm. like you and I are in China, yeah, right? And we see a panda. Would you, I'm being real. Mm-hmm. We see- not in, uh, in the wild. In the wild, Yeah, right? In its natural habitat. Of course, we have bamboo sticks, right? Yeah. Would you, uh, would you be scared to approach it? Honestly, yeah. Because look, what? no matter how adorable, don't approach a giant panda in the wild. They have strong grips. They can deliver powerful bites strong enough to harm a human leg. They can, So they can get through you. Yeah, but a leg for a story? Well, I mean, leg I, versus I, story. It's like, yeah, I guess lose a leg. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a great story. I guess lose a leg. Yeah, yeah. You can but do I mean, a TED talk on it. But when you approach them, like it's different with like, you, what, you can't really pet. Are you going to pet it? It's no, I wouldn't so pet big. it. They're no, going to but- run away. Well, it, you and I would have a conversation. It'd be like, how's the best way to do this? So let's be real about it. Dude, dude, I'll just stick. Go, let's ga- gather a bunch of bamboo. Mm-hmm. Even though there's bamboo all over the place, maybe. We'll, we'll get better bamboo. You we'll think get so? premium bamboo. We don't know premium, though. I know a guy out there. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we'll go to see our guy first. Uh, yeah. We'll go to a guy. Hey, can we get the grade A premium? Primo bamboo. Bamboo. Yeah. And he's like, all right. It's going to cost you. Yeah, here's a wagon full. How much is even... How much is a wagon? Here's a basket full. Each wagon is the same as a shower. It's 25 to 50 cents an hour. Right. So we'll go, all right, that's doable. Reasonable. We'll right. take a couple wagons. We'll give them a dollar. Yeah. Right? Give us back the change, though. No, keep it. Fine. Don't keep be a it, dick. pal. All right. Don't be a dick. Yeah, but uh, yeah. We go out <laughs> in front of the panda, and then how would, what would be our thing? Would we, um, you know what I would do? Huh? It was I would put two bamboos on the in the ground, right? Sticks. I would make a human out of it, right? Like a scarecrow. That's his legs. Like a a scarecrow, right? Mm-hmm. But let like, make it appetizing. How do you make, make it appetizing. Make it look delicious for them. Yeah. Well, see, I was going to say that I think we should rip off the bamboo leaves and stick them to our bodies. That's a very better idea. And have them lick <laughs> it. I never, off. I never even thought. I want of them that. to lick it off our I bodies. I never thought about that. Then we can just lay back on our stomach, on our backs, and, and check it out, dude. We also, because you know that, um, um, grizzly bears, right, mm-hmm. and brown bears, because they don't know, right? Because grizzly bears they eat salmon and honey, right? Yep. Right, but to Pandas, right? That's a foreign food. It's like white people eating sushi. <laughs> Here, my thing, right? So we should bring that shit. Real Canadian honey, yeah, maple honey syrup to them. To them. So we put the bamboo, right? But we're kind of like a, um, you know, we create a meal out of it, like a charcuterie board. Like a charcuterie board. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So we're like a. So we have nice salmon shaved because they might like it. We don't know. Right. They all they have is bamboo. That's why they fucking eat the shit. Yeah, they don't know anybody. Right, but when we're like, this is fucking Canadian shit here, baby. Imagine when a panda right. gets on a flight and flies to northern Canada. 
oh. and they run into like they're going to visit some in-laws right and they run into some local brown and black bears uh, yeah and, you know the pandas the pandas are you know they're mixed well and they see the brown and the black bears and the brown bears like what's up we are, what up panda what's up player <laughs> i feel like and the panda's like what are you guys doing? They're like, we're about to go steal. I think the accent's wrong. These picnic baskets. I think the accent's wrong. They steal the picnic from, baskets. The pandas are from China. So do the accent? Oh, oh, the panda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, it doesn't feel. First of all, you're the panda visiting me. I'm the black bear. I would like you to do the panda. Actually. You're the panda. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You're the panda. You've flown to me. All right. And so I'm, I'm flying, right? And I'm the black Why, bear. So you're so going let, to let, let me get the backstory here real quick. First of all, you're half white, half black. Okay. So one of your parents is black as no, a black bear. That's fine. It doesn't matter because the thing is, is that let's suppose Barack Obama is your dad. No, listen, <laughs> listen, no, no. Listen to my thought processes, right? Uh -huh. Let's see, Barack Obama, right, was born in China, right, to a Chinese family, right. <laughs> he would still have an Asian accent. Barack Osaka. Yeah, Barack Osaka <laughs> would still have a fucking Asian accent. Of course. Well, he. So what does his color of his skin have to do? It's cultural. Uh, first of all, first of all. Yeah. <laughs> You're a half black, half white, Asian panda bear. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Your dad is from Canada. He's a black bear from Canada, right? Your Shit, mom- I didn't realize this. Your mom- <laughs> Is a white polar bear from- Is a white polar from bear from- Antarctica. From, exactly. From Antarctica. Your mom had, had a job offer in China. That's why you were born there, okay? I, I better yet, I, I have a better one. What? Right? Just hear me out, right? Okay. Let's say they, there was a war. Oh, there was a bear war. There was a bear right? war. So Antarctica, right, in Canada, they sent troops, right, to, to China, to China, right, oh, fuck. to fight the fucking pandas, Obvious. right. Well, it, or something to fight the Chinese. From fight the Chinese, that's better. Yeah, right. <laughs> and you know when two, you know, two different armies are working together. Yep, they're probably some crossbreeding because they get bored. Yep, they're probably listening to Jimi Hendrix. Yep, right. Yep, you know. This is the end, like to the doors. Mm -hmm. They're smoking weed. Yeah, together it's like sharing weed. Right, together. right. This is the end. My yeah, friend, my, the end. Right, my, my friend. Right. They're smoking weed. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, hey man, shit. Cause I'm white. Fuck, I'm gonna pull a bit of pussy out here. Yeah. Know? Right. And you know, hey boys. Yeah. Right. His fucking grizzly ditches gets hard. Every time, right. <laughs> right. And it's like. But he's got bullet wounds too because he's, he's been, been shot, shot up. up. He's been clicked right. up. Right. So the one night they smoke weed, they get drunk, whiskey. Whiskey. They fuck, right? Yeah, yeah. They have a baby. They leave the baby there. They fly back to their fucking. They don't give a shit they don't about give a the shit, baby. Right. So what, is that what you're saying? The scenario? Correct. Okay. You're a bastard <laughs> child. You're a bastard panda child. So I'm child. not a panda then. Yes, you are. All right. I'm a panda. Just right? because it. All right, Because right. of what was going on. All right. Movement. movement hey i love watches incredible if you want watches at an, an affordable, affordable price, price i gotta tell you movement is great they sent us a bunch of watches i got a blue face it's really gorgeous with a which a nice sleek band here's and the best part is it, it's not going to cost you a million bucks to have a nice looking watch on your wrist it's okay i have a friend named kevin okay christy exactly and he's he buys these expensive watches rolex right, right? and when i wear movement watches in front of him he always asks, where'd you get that? I like it. You know what I mean? It's a high class watch. It's 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 everything about it is like um th it's the best made watches. Well, it's heavy. I like the weight of it too. Yeah, yeah. And they got the look of a quality four hundred, five hundred dollar watch that you're paying for at a department store, but it costs a fraction of the price because they were built online and their process is their own from start to finish. And a tiny apartment in Southern California, two college dropouts, they teamed up to make this watch company to break all the rules. Fair prices, great colors, clean original designs. So movement is growing, and I got to tell the, you, the watch that I wear, Andrew, yeah, okay, is the Grizzly Brown watch. Oh yeah, from their new Legacy Slim collection, and it's the perfect office watch with a super clean dial and rich yep. brown leather strap. It just elevates my outfits. I have three of their watches, and the the Minimal Sport uh, Dive is one of my favorites. It's uh, it's just smooth looking, and it also can go look casual and look kind of dressed up. Most of us have to spend all day in front of a computer if you work uh, either at home or in an office. Um, and I gotta tell you this, these ever scroll blue light filtering glasses are a game changer. Blue light is dangerous for you. You should read about it from your phone, your computer. And these glasses really help uh, with eye strain and poor sleeping patterns. And I, and I actually love them. They're really cool. If you wanna elevate your look with style that doesn't break the bank, then join the movement and get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash badfriends. Again, 
That's mvmt.com slash bad friends. Beam Organics. Oh, you selfish little bastard. I love Beam Organics. I'm sorry that I took it without giving it to you. They sent us some and I took all of it. And you know why? I don't get to sleep at night. I know, and you I, sleep I, till four in the afternoon. I know, but I, you know that I love Beam Organics, right? And I you took, took it the all. thing. And now I got to order more. I don't care. All right. I don't care. It, I, look, I don't sleep that well because we got busy schedules. We're on the road and yeah. my time our time schedules are always messed up because we're shooting all night long. And I got to tell you, sleep studies have shown that getting bad sleep can affect your brain function, mood, weight loss, and overall health. And uh, you got to have full eight hours. And that's why this stuff, this Beam Dream Powder is- uh, It's the best, guys. I uh, love listen, it. Listen, guys, you know, when I catch a flight, because I, I fly sometimes. Oh, yeah. And I do red eyes. I have to do red eye tomorrow. Yeah, you do. And it's like, um, I, I wish I, I had Beam Dream Powder because it really does work. It's stuff that I, I, I use- daily yeah but i ran out and you took the last of it sorry they sent they okay. only sent anyway, me enough for the best, what i guys. needed it uh this stuff contains melatonin magnesium reishi uh eye theanine and nano cbd nano cbd is effective because uh, it's all about surface area when you when you break hemp molecules down to tiny droplets your body has a dramatically increased ability to absorb it making it super effective there's no thc okay it's just cbd and it's triple lab tested with no added sugar or artificial sweeteners uh, I got to tell you, this stuff is incredible. It actually tastes really good. It's like a hot cup of cocoa at night. Um, and I like it before I go to bed. Yep. Everybody needs this. If you subscribe now, you get 35% off your first month. Plus, get a free mug and... Frother. It's really good. It's like a little mixer. Head to beamorganics.com slash badfriends. That's B-E-A-M organics.com slash badfriends. For 35% off your first month of your dream subscription. Plus, you can pause or cancel at any time. So you decide. I'm fucking sad as fuck then, huh? I just I was raised by my own. Sad panda? I'm sad panda, that's right. So what happens is you decide, I'm going to go visit my mom and my dad. I'll visit my dad first in Canada, and I'll go visit my mom in Antarctica. So you go to Canada to meet your dad. But is there like an, a, some agency that he calls to find out where they live and whatnot? Panda's International. That's right. Yeah. Okay, my bad. So I forgot he, that that existed. Yes, because they need help <laughs> trying to find their parents. They've that's, all been abandoned. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So you go, you fly to Canada. Yeah. And here you are. Uh, and you see your dad with all of his buds just kicking it kicking, it, kicking in it in the forest the, in the forest right. on on their block right and you step on their block and they're like what's up what's up little bitch ass multicolored bear and i go what why who are you looking for bitch you why are you what do you mean you looking for me you're my daddy shit what? I, what? I ain't your daddy why you leave me how do you know why I'm, you leave me how do you know I'm your daddy? Because look. And I pull out my dick. Right? But it's half white and half black. But it's still shaped like yours. So it's real long. So, yeah. It's long but super skinny. Why does everything have to do? How about that? Forget the dick. You turn around and let me show you see your no, butt. I, I, no, let me see your butt. Let's not even do that because it's sexual. We, we always go there, right? So I, I go, wasn't going to make it about I you. know, but I'm going to do something different. How right? are you going to go? How do you know you're my look, son? And I look up my, my fucking papa. Yeah. And there's a birthmark. And then you look at your paw and the same birthmark. Holy shit. shit. Right. And then what do you do with that hand? We touch hands. No, you. I thought you were going to hit me. I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You would have rather touch. But we touch hands. Let's go hands. PG. We touch hands. We touch hands. Disney right? style. Right. And I'm crying. And I'm and I'm crying too. You are? You you feel? Yeah, because then all the homies, but the, all the homies see that I'm crying and they're like, right. oh, look at him crying like a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. And then you hit me. <laughs> right. I that fought, ain't my bitch ass son. I fuck. We do a hard cut. If this is a movie, we do a hard cut. Cut. We're on the dinner table. And we, we, I invited you for dinner? Yeah, because I we don't know what happened, but I have a patch over my face. Well, we do know what happened. I hit you in the previous scene. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, just eat your, I'm like, eat your salmon and shut the fuck up. And I've never had it before, so what would it? And then my first response is, how are you going to be from fucking Asia and never had no goddamn salmon? But we don't have salmon up there. Motherfucker, you got judge sushi all over that bitch. That's Japanese. Same shit. Everybody right, laughs. Right, so you're that kind of guy. Everybody laughs. Everyone laughs, yeah, right? Yeah. And then I grab my shit and I head north to see my mom because I right. hate this fucking. You fucking hate this I guy. I fucking hate this. And guy. I'm smoking unfiltered cigarettes. Right. I'm like, get out of here, bitch. And to finish the story, I finally. It takes me. I walk. It takes me about four years <laughs> to get to Antarctica. I think you get there. North Pole. Let's, the just, North Pole. let's, let's the North say Pole. a couple months. <laughs> He's a small. I have small little limbs. I. Takes you a year. Have you seen the move? Takes you a year. How how fast can pandas walk or run? <laughs> I, I I gotta tell you, I bet you can get up to ten miles an hour. So ten, no, there's no way. Yeah. No, they're like 
20 miles an hour. They go 20 miles an hour? That's what it says. All right, 20 miles an hour. So, I, mean, I have no idea. Well, it's got to be a couple thousand miles, so then look, you're clearing that in- A couple months. A couple months. Right. Couple I'm up, weeks, I finally get weeks. up there, right? Yeah. And I don't see anything. It's just snow. Cold, right? You're freezing. Right. And then like a couple of seals say, get up. Let me go. You don't want to be around here. Oh, they're warning you. Yeah. Wrong neighborhood. Yeah, it's like desolate. It's kind of like um, West Virginia, like the Appalachian Mountains kind of vibe. Ooh, you know what I mean? Like, Crazy yeah, from around here. You, be, I don't know what you're doing here, right. boy. What, what if the seals all have Southern accents? <laughs> right. I don't know what you're doing you know, right, here, boy. Yeah, right, right. You better go back to China. Yeah, me. Unless you're here for a moonshine. <laughs> right, right. And then we, and I ignore them. You, know you don't I mean? want to deal with yeah, the seals. Yeah. And I'm still like, now the wound from my cat hitting me <laughs> is infected. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My eye is no longer, it's in fact, it's gone. Your eye's been eaten it's away by It's so infected, yeah, parasites. maggots and oh, parasites, wow. right? Yeah. But I still have the bandage on for some reason. I think that that. That's going to save it? Yeah. And your eye just keeps falling out of the socket, right. but you keep pushing it back And in. I say something ridiculous like to the fucking seals, like, do you guys have a... Antibiotics? Or something crazy. You know, they're not going to have antibiotics. Right. Of course not. And the eyes are out, gone. We got moonshine. Right. And I go, do you know where Anna lives? That's why I might know my mom's What's name. What's her name? Anna. I think you think it is. Yeah. What, what do you think it is? They're like, who are you talking about? Sheila? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sheila. Yeah. She live at the top of that old hill up there. Yeah. Okay. So you got to trek up that hill. Thank you. No problem. Good right. luck. But I, I, have to, I also say, I have to also say, can you just... To point to exactly because I one of my eyes don't work. <laughs> Figure it out yourself, and they jump they're in so the water. Mean. They're, they're so mean. mean. So well, they're mean. fucking drunk. These seals. Yeah, I always blacked out. I get up there, mm -hmm. right, and Sheila is frozen solid. <laughs> she's dead. She, she's frozen. <laughs> she's a fro. She's frozen. <laughs> frozen solid in this gigantic ice cube. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, and then right. <laughs> What you, what, you don't, what, you don't realize, what you don't realize, right, mm -hmm. is, this is if this is a movie, right, we do like now a scene that happened in the past in the movie. At this point, we see this frozen fucking Sheila frozen, right? It cuts to what I did in Canada. I steal a gun. Well, they don't have they don't they have guns. They have guns, yeah. Okay, they have guns. Yeah, yeah. You've in the movie, where they have guns. Of course they do. Right. So I pull out the gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right. Mm -hmm. I stick it in my mouth. No, no. I thought you were going to shoot the ice. <laughs> <laughs> what? Shoot the ice? No, no. I would end the movie like this. Oh, okay. You don't think so? I say shoot the ice. Well, how about this? Why don't I- Let me give you my comedy version. <laughs> or let me, let me kind of just say- Let, me, let me hear or, yours. Or, or, let me, just let me hear yours. Or, I'm, not I'm going to tell you. I, I want you to do your comedy version. Yours right? guns goes in your mouth. I'm not saying that I'm going to pull the trigger, right? I'm just saying that this is a dramatic moment. <laughs> <laughs> right? A little bit. I'm leaning against, right? This frozen polar bear, Sheila, my mm -hmm. mom, right? My eye is fucking gone, dude. It's gone. It's fucking infected. It's gone. I'm I, What the fuck am I going to do? I don't have a ticket back to China, right? It all, it's, 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 it's a disarray. My dad is a fucking asshole, I realize. My mom's <laughs> fucking dead. I mean, there's no fucking point to it all. Yeah. Right? So I stick the gun in my mouth, mm -hmm. right? I'm panda. Yeah. Right? And I click it. It does. It's so cold, like it. The mechanisms, right? Jam, jam, right? <laughs> so you finish the movie. So you start screaming, ah! I don't want to be here anymore. And 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 it's a it's a it's a machine gun, yeah. It was a handgun. <laughs> I thought it was a machine gun. Oh, let, 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 all right. Yeah, and so uh, no, it's a handgun. Shot, shot of shotgun. No, it's a handgun. <laughs> okay, we'll go handgun. Handgun. Yeah, yeah. And you're leaning against the ice, and you go, I don't want to be here anymore. And, there's no bullets. Yeah. And you start smashing, smashing it, it right. right against you on the back of the ice. Yeah. <laughs> it's breaking. You're like, I don't like this life anymore. Everything is a fraud. Everyone's a, <laughs> a lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate everything. I hate it. <laughs> and your mom. <gasps> oh. <Just> positive. <sighs> you saved my life. Oh, what are you doing in my house? Ma this is your house? Who this are you? This mountain? 
<laughs> I'm your son. Remember you, r- raw dog? <laughs> Remember you raw dog back in the war? You raw 20 years ago? Well, how long? Seven years ago, you raw dog that fucking... I fucked a griffin bear yeah, back griffin in bear. China. Yeah. I'm this... And then you had me and then oh you left God, me there. My son. Yeah. Why do you have a gun? Because <laughs> my eyes gone and my dad treated me like I was killed. No, no, no. Give me that gun. Yeah. And you give her the gun. Right. And then she turns it on you. <laughs> That's great. And it works now. <laughs> it works now. And she goes, goodbye, son. Right. <laughs> and, I, and could I just, it hits the center of my. Right in the middle. In the middle, right? And the way it hits my head, right? Mm-hmm. It shatters every bone in my skull. Wow. <laughs> right? It shatters every bone, right? And if some, it, it, there's a, the brains and the skull matter, everything, it just, <laughs> like a pinata, you hit a pinata, all the can't, right? Yeah. Right? And it freezes. Right? Right? Cool. And, and my, this is my face, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Brain, every. Brains. Right? Oh, d- Credits come down. <laughs> do, 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 no, in the background, it's just panda noise in the background. <laughs> right, 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 right. It's a film. Or you know, you know, instead of doing that, is, do, right? I, I was thinking, you know, th- imagine if this was a pitch meeting and Universal was like, <laughs> "What the fuck are you guys talking about?" And we're like, "Check we're, it out. We're Check not done. It out. We're not done." But here's the second option. <laughs> then, if you don't like the ending, right? It's a little dark. I'm leaning against the thing, right? The gun doesn't work, right? Right? Mm-hmm. And I whistle, right? And a unicorn <laughs> <laughs> comes out of the forest, mm-hmm. right? My eye, right? He gallops. He lifts his leg like this mm-hmm. in a beam of life. It goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? Perfect. That could be an alternate end- ending because we're fusing two movies. It's a callback for the other movie. It's two movies in a yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, you want to buy it or you don't want to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. No, it's going to work. They're like, get the get no out. No one's gonna want to get buy out it. of yeah, our. No one's gonna want to buy it. Yeah. Happy Halloween, by the way. Happy Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Rudy probably has a book report for us by now. Movie report. Oh, you have a movie report? Clockwork Orange. Oh, did you watch the movie? Yeah. Did Did she really? Or is she lying? Get she, the fucking gum out of your mouth. <laughs> she claims she did. I did last night. How okay. long was the movie? Two hours. Two hours and a half. Yeah, that's probably right. <laughs> Do you swear? I promise. On Kalila's life. Yes. Okay. That's insane to swear on her life, but <laughs> oh, yeah, she did, right. huh? Uh-huh. Okay, so tell us about the movie. So it's about, um, uh, there's this teenager named Alex, mm-hmm. and then he has a group called Doogs. Doogies? Wait. Droogs. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, they go on this like really violent activities where they rape. Put on your hand, by the way, because I want to make sure you're still Freddy Cougar. Where they rape and like beat people. Mm-hmm. And then one time they went to this cat lady's house and then Alex killed the cat lady and then he got caught and then he went to prison. And then Alex wanted his prison sentence to be shorter so he agreed to do this um experiment so he went to this hospital and the doctors did (coughs) an experiment for him because the government said that this experiment will turn the bad people to good people so they did that alex was strapped in a chair and then he had to watch the these violent films and then after that, he changed, and the doctor said he was cured. So every time he would try to do bad things, he would feel sick, and he would make uh, 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 noises. This sounds like the the plot for Geely, the Ben Affleck. And... <laughs> Are you sure that's not Geely? No, that's it. That is. I, 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 I'm I actually believe, like you know blown what? away. I, you I watched honestly the movie. believed. That... I liked it. You did like it. <laughs> then then Star Wars. Star Wars is shit. Star Wars, Wars is, is shit. shit. <laughs> so what we just realized wow, now man. is Jules. Star Wars is shit. She is said. an art elitist. She's an elitist, and I love it. And I love it. And that's who she. That's who she really is. I think she is. I think you're an elitist. I think you're an artist. Mm-hmm. Right. I, honestly. Or she right? likes violence. 
And she likes violence. She likes violence. Look right into your camera, into your one lens, and say, hey, George Lucas, Star Wars is shit. Go ahead. Hey, George Lucas, Star Wars is shit. Wow. You're never going to work in this town again. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Let me ask you this. Mm. If they remade Clockwork Orange, and then they cast you in it, <laughs> or they made a new Star Wars movie, and which one would you do? Oh. And who would you play? But I only knew the New Hope. You never seen any of the other ones? We told you about the other ones. Uh, the first movie where uh, Liam you... Nelson is in it. Liam Nelson. <laughs> Liam Nelson. <laughs> yeah. Liam Full Nelson. I think Liam Nelson was pretty good in that movie, though. That's what they called him, Liam Full Nelson. <laughs> yeah. Full, yeah. <laughs> what character would you play? The, the one that looks like a monkey. Uh -huh. Fair, fair. Yeah. What about in Clockwork? Let me Orange? ask you this: that monkey, mm -hmm. what's his? What kind of creature is? He? I mean, what race is he? Filipino, right? <laughs> no, he's not Filipino. What is he? I think he's more Persiany, like Turkish. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's... No, what is he in the movie? I don't know. He's a Wookie. What's a Wookie? Chewbacca is a Wookie. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think you should see the second Star Wars where Empire Strikes Back because it gets. That's where he meets Yoda. Yeah. And you that, you kind of could be Yoda. I think you could relate to Yoda. <laughs> he talks funny. Yeah. He speaks weird English. Same food. Same food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Environment almost. Yeah. It food environment. I think you'll be like you're pretty you know close I mean? to a Yoda. Yeah. You've never heard of Yoda. He's a green, small thing. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Say no more. Say more, no more. You kind of talk like him, too. Do you know what Jabba the Hutt is? Do you think Yoda was just foreign and he just, it was like he just had broken English? You know when they say, he's like, oh, he talks in these beautiful, like, backwards limericks, but really maybe he just was, a, it's, that sounds like every guy I've met that's, like, super foreign. Like, Andres does that. <laughs> like what? Andres, he's like, Andrew, cards, cards I need, where are they? <laughs> All right. Maybe Yoda was just from Spain, and yeah, yeah. People just were giving him a hard. Time. They're like, "Oh, he's so wise. He's speaking in this weird language." You're like, "I don't know, man. It, he could have just been super fucking foreign." And also, can I ask you this about Yoda? Is is that obviously he's a part of a race of types of people, right? Yeah. Where where are they? Not only where are they, but they have to fuck. Well, ugh, I know. Oh have you ever God. thought about that? Fucking me, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, they yeah, have to they fuck. Yeah, they had to fuck. And do you think they fuck outside of their race? <laughs> do you think Yoda's fuck Wookiees? No, I mean, he, they want to. No, one's want, no one wants to fuck them. Yoda goes to Wookiees. Yeah. And he and he's just like, no! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to fuck me, I'm begging you. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, no! Fuck no! off! Yeah, yeah, yeah that, they're like that. Nobody's fucking Yoda. <laughs> no one's fucking, that. yeah. What race is Yoda? What is he even? Did they even say? Yeah, in the new, the new, uh, what's it, the Manchurian, what, Mandarin, Mandarin? Mandarian. Manchurian candidate. Is it the Manchurian, what's it called? Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Did they get into what Species whose two, whose true name is not recorded. We don't even know. We don't even know. How the fuck did they even lazy. write that? Why would, that's so lazy. It's so lazy. Write it. Write they it. made up a language. Yeah. Write it. It's Maybe it's, it's kind of cool mysterious wise though, with mystery wise. Put a label on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't know what they are. And by the way, Baby Yoda, not as cute as they're making it out to be. This is, goes back to our... Bro. Then this goes back to the squirrel conversations. Yeah. it's it. I like... I don't... The behavior aside, I don't think it's cute. See, this thing... Go to Baby Yoda, a better photo of Baby Yoda. I'm, I'm going to argue for him. Okay, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. Here's my biggest beef about Baby Yoda that everybody thought was really cute. Okay. This well, cute, right? Really cute. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> he go to the one to right to the right. He's right to already the right. balding one. as a bro, bro. He's balding. It doesn't bro. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. When you're a baby. <laughs> yeah. In fact, that look at the fuzz on the it has more hair than fucking Andreas. <laughs> <laughs> look at the fuzz. I don't first of all, look at this. Look, okay, here's what I want to say about yeah, this yeah. thing. Because we're just fighting for asides for yeah. no reason. These look at the pupils on this guy, he's been using. <laughs> Obviously, he's fucked up. Yeah, he you has trust been a, using. You tr and look at and look at the wrinkles on its upper lip. You trust an aged baby that's been using all day? Yeah, maybe it's maybe he has progeria. 
Oh no, well, yeah. then I feel bad. You know what progeria is? No. Oh. It's a disease that affects a very small amount of people and it makes you like a... It makes like a six-year-old look like a 90-year-old man. Yeah, it's very sad. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. <laughs> so cute. Oh, so cute. Right? How cute is this? So really cute. cute. By the way, I see you playing with the knives on there. Yeah. Which couldn't be more appropriate for you. But let me say this. Do you even know anything about Freddy Krueger? He's on Nightmare on Elm Street. I know, but do you what know- What does he do? Do you know anything about him? Like his character? <laughs> He's on people's dreams or nightmares and he kills them. Yeah. But do you know anything about his past? No. Oh. Uh, wow. Wow. He's probably my favorite. Ah, uh, no. That's tough. Jason, Jason's so good. Jason's pretty good. Yo, I saw the best tweet today. I don't even know who wrote it because I don't, I don't want to take credit, but somebody goes, they looked up the stats for Jason is 6'3". Yeah. And he was like, this motherfucker had it all, could have been a hooper, but wasted it on killing. It was so funny. I was like, he's that tall? Because yeah, they, they have he, the heights listed? Yeah. He's a little stocky, though. He's heavy. Yeah, he's a big he's boy. Heavy. He box out yeah, down yeah, below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. So it's, let's go. Freddy Krueger, Jason. Michael. Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees. Voorhees, yeah. Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers. Oh, what? Uh, uh, hell, uh, uh, hell, um, uh, Pinhead. Pinhead. But what's his? What's that called? That, I don't know. They call him Pinhead. What was the movies? Hellraiser. 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 Hell, because I was looking for hell. I'm going to some of the creatures. And when I first saw Hellraiser, so fucking dude, it was so weird. Have you ever seen Hellraiser? No. Look up the creatures in Hellraiser, the original Hellraiser. How scary they were. This is a movie that came out in the early '80s, I think. Le I think mi it was mid '80s, mid '80s, maybe. Yeah. 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 Dude. Dude, look at the creatures. Not him. No, go up to the top. Like, yeah, like that guy right there. Yeah, that guy, go down. Go, go down. down, go down. Like look that, at that. Like the guy uh, right there. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Go to the right. Go to the right now. That one. No? Yeah, that one. I mean, look at the guy to the right. That looks like guys from the comedy store that I see. <laughs> That's true. Go zoom in on the guy on the right, Pete. Yeah. The one on the left is scarier. Oh, you think so? No, the one on the right by far. He looks like a thumb. Yeah. It looks like Steve Simone. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who's that? CeeLo? Is that CeeLo Green? Yeah. Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah. What a, that was a scary movie. So fucking scary, man. Because it dealt with not hell, but like a fourth dimension. Yeah, you're in another world. Yeah, a different dimension of creatures. See, th that is the thing, though. It's got to be sold really well. Because look, Nightmare was great because it was in our real world. Yeah. So was Jason. Yeah. Okay? And so was Michael Myers. Yeah. But with this, it was like entering other worlds and they could easily come off as cheesy. Go down there. Go to, so, so, yeah, no. Where the other folks, go to the right. Yeah. Go to, to the right, far right, right that that one. I'm going to see that one. Zoom, Can you zoom. zoom that in? Wow. Yeah, it's, it, well, it's, they're kind of like Marilyn Manson. I was just going to say, dude, you know, it's either, it's either, it's like Marilyn Manson meets Tim Burton. Yeah. But ba it, back when I saw that as a kid, though, I was just like, imagine living in the suburbs. You don't watch shit like this. Well, also, there was not much out like that. Like, the horror movies in Am American horror movies yeah. weren't this good and gory. Yeah. Dude, I saw a fucking movie, a horror movie called VHS 94. I don't know that movie. VHS 94? Yeah. There's, I'm telling you right now, there was a couple of, of there, what, what it is, it's, it's a found footage VHS tape, pretty much, that you find in... You know, it just came out. It just came out, right? And th see that guy, the mad scientist. Uh -huh. That mad scientist. It's like they're little vignettes, so they're like eight minute, ten, ten minutes VHS found footage Ooh. in a row, right? They don't. They're not really connected, right? Uh huh. But they were so cleverly done and so freaky. That thing is so good. Where did you see it on? Shutter. What the fuck is Shutter? <laughs> Shudder is a streaming platform for horror movies only. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Shudder. Yeah. How much is it a monthly fee or you uh, just a couple six, seven bucks a, a month, right? You're gonna have to loan it to me. Yeah. Is that Chelsea Peretti? <laughs> Fucking please don't say that. No, it looks like her right there. Yeah. Look. Yeah. That looked like her for a second. So she's in one where um she's like a news reporter. So it basically looks like a nineteen nineties news reporter. Everything is supposed to be from ninety four. Yeah, and going into like these subways because there's a legend that there's like a rat, a rat human that lives there. Andres? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that was just something that I recommend. Imagine Andres down in a subway and you're like, a rat! And he's like, <laughs> yeah. I not that fine. And then he scurries away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to watch. This looks good. I finally, so by the way, I finally finished, finished Squid Game. Like I had seen 
six. What'd you think? And then I finished, finished it. What'd you think? I'm going to give my fast wrap up because we already talked about Squid Game on the show before. But here's the deal. Too many stories are being told at once. Not a fan of that. Way too many stories. Too many ancillary characters that you're like, why the fuck was that guy involved? But it's not about him. Yeah. The ending also made me a little bit mad because um, uh, the twist was cool, but then also elongated and a little like a draggy. It was a little draggy. Uh-huh. Um, well, you know, no one's going to be no. When you're writing a show like that, you, you're not going to satisfy everyone. It's like when people got really yeah. mad about Game of Thrones, the end, yeah. the last season of Game yeah, of, of Thrones, course, people were just ripping it apart. It's like I just, I just it's think just so difficult. You it know just I mean, drug to please on. Everyone. It just drug on a little bit too long. To me, it didn't. To me, it was like I wish they do a part two. Well, they're going to do a part two. Yeah, and I thought that um, in general, the whole thing was it the the sets. The squid dies, by the way. Spoiler alert, if anybody yeah, yeah, yeah. wants to know. How immaculate were the sets? Well, that's... You, dude, you know you can buy the... You can buy an alarm clock for your bed that's... Hum, nee, na, nee, yeah, the yeah. Little, how do you say red light, green light in Korean? I don't know. That's so offensive. You're to offensive. your fucking history. You're offensive to me. Ask me a, history, a word from my, from my fucking... In record. Ireland? Yeah. How do you say good morning in Ireland? Come on! <laughs> oh, shit. My yeah, bad. There you go. Yeah. Okay, well, I should know mine then. Or how, ask me, actually, how do you say "had a good morning" in Ireland? In Irish, ask me again. How do you say "have"? How are you having a good morning in Ireland? Have a drink. That's it. Oh, you went for the stereotype. Have a drink and a smoke. There we go. Made it original. Fight a fighter. Yeah. I'm telling you, you can buy that alarm clock, and I was going to buy that for you. But you know what? I, you know why I didn't buy it for you? Did I didn't get you a birthday present. Not only did you not get me a birthday present, <laughs> you didn't even call me on my fucking birthday. Oh, what day was it? It was on Saturday. Don't get angry. Don't throw anything. It was on Saturday. Yeah. And guess who called you on my birthday? Me. Who? Me to yeah. say hi. Our relationship isn't a tit for tat. <laughs> That's a fucking fact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Our relationship is not a tit for tat. All right. Yeah. It's it's a ta- it's tat and tat. It's, yeah. It's tat for tat. It's tat for <laughs> it, no. It's tat for tit shit. Tat to shit. It's right? tit for shit. Tit for shit. Right. <laughs> and um, the present that I got you is still being mailed mm, from where. <laughs> I can't tell you it's a surprise. Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Make it up. No, I'm not going to make something up. What are you getting so angry about? Look at your face. I can tell the shift of your face. You can't even see my eyes. I know. I can just see through it. I don't like it. Wait, can you see my eyes through here? Yeah. These yeah. fucking cheap glasses. Yeah, yeah. So I can see your eyeballs. But let me say this. Yeah. I hope everybody has a happy Halloween. Yeah. I, I hope nobody, hey, nobody gets a razor blade in their candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one does that, by no the one, way. They used to. I don't I don't believe it. Yeah, you know what was scary? Remember the Tylenol scare? When people were putting Tylenol in candy? No, when they put cyanide in the Tylenol. Tylenol. Funny. <laughs> yeah. So back in sh- the Chicago area, back in the early 80s, yeah. some guy took 10... Because back then, they didn't have the protective seal. Right. Right. So you could open it up. So you could buy Tylenol, some guy, and they were the capsules. Yep. So you could under the capsule, dump it, and some dude put cyanide in there. That's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. Repackage it, put it at pharmacies and grocery stores and whatnot, right? So there was one family that like, uh, somebody died, Mm -hmm. right? And he died, and so so he took a Tylenol in his house. They didn't know what it was. So when his family gathered for his morning at the house, mm-hmm. two of the guests had headaches and they took the Tylenol and they died as well. Oh my God. How crazy is that? That's so fucked. It's so fucked up. And, and f- guess what? Huh? They never lived again. Caught him. They never caught the cyanide Tylenol guy? So he got a freebie. Two freebies? No, he killed like six, I think. What? Yeah, six or seven people. What kind of criminal would you be like that? Would you be a that kind of psycho killer? I'm not a hands-on kind of a guy. So what? What do you you're you're, you're kill him like that? You're kill him through the mail type of shit. No, I would like maybe put like. How would I do it? I've thought about it. I've never thought about. It. Have you thought about it? Yeah. Okay. Th- what would you do? Uh, no, no. <laughs> no. What would you do? Well, I don't want to say it. What? No, just hypothetically. Oh, right. Rice. <laughs> Rice. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. No, I don't I would be I would do um I like it when the psychological thrillers are like uh 
when they like get into your water line and they put blood in the water line. Yeah. And you're someone's in the shower and they're like, ah, 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 and and they see blood's coming out of that. Yeah. You know? And then they go to go, you know, get out of the house, but they can't get out of the house. Yeah. You know? And then they cut the power. Yeah. And then, the, and well, then nobody has phone lines anymore. Uh, and I cut the phone lines. Yeah. And then I bust into their house. Yeah. Right? And they're like, ah, and they're freaking out. And then I'm like, I'm just fucking kidding. That's what you do? And then I get out of there. Yeah. You know what I would do? And I turn around. I would, I would find a family. I, would ne- I don't know. I, don't I would find know. a family. Yeah. I know one. Yuck. I, I would find a family, right? Uh-huh. And I would know everything about the family, their routines, when they go to job, right? I would pick up their mail. Right. right. I would move nearby, right? I would invent a machine. You'd buy property? <laughs> yeah. That's a big, a big commitment. A big commitment. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I would rent. Yeah, but then they got to do a credit check and all that stuff. I it's mean, fine. It's They're just... not going to notice me, so, so check it out, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. I also invent something. And what it is, it, <laughs> just hear me, hear me out, right? <laughs> It's a little mechanism, right, that you put underneath the bed. Ooh, okay? Yeah. And if I call the number, it releases, it triggers it. And what it does, it puts out the volume smoke into the rooms, right? So if there's a family of five or six people and living in a house, right, I would put one in every, underneath the, when they're out of town, right, I would sneak in, right? Yeah. And once I see everyone going in the house and all the lights going off, I would turn it on. And they'd be feeling good. They'd be, yeah, they're passed out, mm-hmm. right? You go inside and you kiss everyone on the forehead and then you leave. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> it's nice and sweet. Yeah. What would you do, you little psychopath? I'd stalk and only prey on men. And okay. <laughs> Except for men that you're friends with and know well, right? Any. That I would hate. But like people that you work with, you wouldn't stalk and kill. I could. But like people that you work with on a weekly basis that, you know, are like family to you, you wouldn't, right? No, it's fine. No, it's fine. You would? (laughs) I would. Wait, I'm not yet done. Okay. (laughs) What about guys you live with? Would you kill people that men that you live with? Right? Mm -hmm. And then when I stalk them, I would um, like sedate them or like put something in their drinks for them to sleep oh and then i put them in like the basement or if in the house of tutu bobby maybe in the garage Uh uh-huh yeah and then i would tie like maybe like six or eight men together we all get tied up together we get tied together and then what happens and then while they're asleep i would put fireworks in their butts like m80s explosives yeah yeah and then, which which can I just? <laughs> do some guys get more explosives than others in their butt? Yeah, it... if I hate them more. <laughs> okay, so, so like I would get maybe one, and Bobby would get. <laughs> Honestly, how many explosives would I get in my butt? I didn't say you would be in it. Let, how just, many just... explosives do I get in my butt? <laughs> maybe you'd get one and a half. One and a half. What is how much did Bobby get? Five. Five. I get five explosives. Okay. How about Pete? No, I don't want Pete in it and Andreas. Why the well, fuck do I, they well, get? Let's, let's play, play it out. They get to live. Yeah, let's play it out. Oh. Let's play it out. Yeah. So I'm tied up. Right? I got one and a half explosives in my butthole. You've got. Are five. we naked? Mm, I don't want to see your dicks. So you cut our dicks off? <laughs> no, like I just cut a hole on your pants. In my butt. Or or you could just stick the fucking explosive no, in your butt. I want it inside. Right. You could stick it in my butt and put my pants back on. <laughs> she doesn't want to have to take no. off your pants. No. She that's just, our, uses oh, scissors, see. cuts a hole You'd in your butt. You'd rather cut hole. a hole yeah, that makes in it my hole. really fancy like raw denim pants. Yeah. Ones oh. that a homeless guy wore for a week. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Okay, so. And then what would you, would you light them all at the same time? Yeah, and I just record you. Or... Okay. <laughs> Can I just say this? I don't think that would necessarily kill me. No, but I would An do, M80 I... in your butthole? <laughs> Five of them? It's yeah. fucking explosives. I know, but still, it's like I could still be torso guy. It would rip your body open. <laughs> yeah, just the bottom half. I'm still torso guy from then on. Bobby. I'll do the Special Olympics. Do you remember? <laughs> what? Do you remember in our polar bear film? <laughs> yeah. When your head, ex- 
like bleh, every bone in your brain and bre- your head broke. Yeah. Same thing with your butt. I know my butt, but still your whole body, your whole bleh, your whole middle, your guts would spill out. You'd be gone, bud. Okay. Can you, you think do one? She, do- she doesn't know. Can you just do one? That's why she put it in our butt. I get five. He's not gonna die. You put one in his butt. No, because I need to experiment. She wants to know who get who. Yeah. How? Ah. Uh, all right. So I'm absolutely dead. <laughs> all right. I'm. Fu- you know. You know this. I'm fucking dead, man. Yeah. Yeah, but after he's that, not. No. I'm a, but I might be crawling around on my torso. <laughs> yeah. If That's he's bet. not dead, I do something else. What are you gonna oh, do? Fuck, see, I'd rather be dead. No, no. What is he gonna do? This is what I like. So my tor- <laughs> so he's gone. I'm torso guy, and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm moving around and you the would garage plead, like a little bitch. You would plead for your life, right? <laughs> The whole time. Yeah, what would you say? I go, Rudy, please, I'll do anything that well, you want. Well, don't call me. her by a fictional name. You probably call her by her real name. Oh, yeah. Um, Mak Tak Sung, please don't hurt <laughs> yeah, me. Don't yeah, kill yeah. me. Please, don't. <laughs> Mak Tak Sung, please don't, <laughs> please don't kill me. I'll do anything that you want, please. And then what do you do, Mak Tak Sung? I want to carve something in his stomach or face. Oh. Oh, you're going to do some artwork. You're going to make me a pumpkin? Yeah, yeah. What are you going to carve, like a message? Yeah, or just like a design. Oh, a design like a you're gonna make art. I'm so I'm art now. Yeah. Yeah, like and you're gonna put like me on a display. Sun or what? Yeah, like with a knife. And oh like... fuck, that must hurt. Are you gonna eventually kill me? No. You're gonna let me slowly die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then how are you gonna get away with? I'm okay if I get caught. Holy oh fuck, my God. that's crazy. There's no escape plan? No, but by the way, that's more scary to me. Someone that's like, I'm okay that guy get caught. That's, that's scary. so scary. Pretty scary. Yeah. Well, you're going to move out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to get down in the house. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like it. She's not going to do it. Well, happy Halloween, Rudy. Happy Halloween. I want you to look into your camera and do the most creepy voice of thank you for uh, for being a bad friend as creepy as you can. Happy Halloween. <laughs> no. Thank you for being a bad friend is what I want you to say. You yeah. said happy Halloween. Didn't I say thank you for being thank a bad friend? Thank you for being a bad friend. And also, it's not creepy. I don't know how. We're not going until you do it. Yeah, that's true. Go get some brown on your voice. Get some brown. Mm. Something fucking creepy. Something. <laughs> thank you for being a bad friend. All right, you do yours into your camera and I'll do mine. Go, you do your creepiest. My God! The beer, my friend! Whoa. Uh, Andres, let's hear yours. <laughs> Thank you for being a bad friend. Just like a Spanish guy with a smoker's <laughs> yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pete, <laughs> thank you for being a bad friend. Pretty Rape, good. Rapist? Rapist, yeah. <laughs> and here's mine. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being a bad friend. <laughs> Pretty good. Old timey. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you know? Do you know? Do you know that our dearest Pedro, Andres, uh-huh. is taking his citizenship test? That's amazing. And he needs to become a citizen. That's incredible. And th- and and he he needs our help. I do. And no, seriously though, he is literally trying to naturalize. Okay. So here at the Bad Friends, you know, we have an illegal here. Yeah. Uh, well, hey, hey, <laughs> maybe two. Okay. Got a couple of legals. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And one of them is going to be naturalized, right? You're going to denounce your citizenship of Spain. You're going to become an American citizen, right? Yeah, and buy a gun. Buy a gun. Buy a gun. So this guy wants to take a citizenship test. I can't even say it. And uh, are we going to help you study? What is it? What do you want us to do to help you get through it? I was hoping you guys could give me the answers. Okay, let's see. I think we know. I bet you we know some of these answers. answers. I'm an American, man. Rudy, do you know some of this stuff? No. You uh, should study too. All right, pull your pull the mic closer, Rudy. So I don't know the first one. I'm fucked. <laughs> all right, Rudy, who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Um, George Washington. Bobby. John, John Adams. <laughs> John Hancock. John Adams. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Who said, who said that? Uh, fancy. I've been studying a little bit, but wait I a minute. Guys... Do you 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 have to. Uh, do you not know the answers to these? 
Yeah. What is one promise when you make when you become a United States citizen? Um, you you <laughs> risk your life for the country. For the country. Is that your answer? Yeah. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Um, to vote for Trump when he runs on a second term? Maybe. I think that's it. What is it? What do you think? You can. You can. Buy a gun. You can buy, you a, can gun. buy a gun. Okay, what is it, fans? Uh, you have to um, reject your loyalty to other countries. Oh, oh I know that's that. A good one. That's a good and one. you better. And you better. Who was the president during World War One? I? <sighs> I don't think you Roosevelt. Know, you know when somebody says yeah. when you know when somebody says go back to your country. Yeah. Where do we go? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what does the president's cabinet do other than hold its China? This is fun. Oh! Oh! Ah!